Today we will take a look at the list.fold function in F# List.fold is an extremely versatile function. You can use it whenever you have a list of values that you want to combine in some way to obtain an output value. We will see plenty of examples soon, but first I will explain exactly how it works. List.fold needs an input list, and then it uses a state which we need an initial value for. Finally, we need a function which combines the current state and an element from the input list to produce a new state. This function is called the folder. This is how it works. First, the initial state and the first element are fed to the function, which produces a new state. Then, the new state and the second element are fed to the same function, and another state is produced. This continues until we make it through the entire list. The output of list.fold is the final state. Let's do a quick concrete example. We will use list.fold to sum the integers from 1 to 5. So, this is the input list, and the initial state will be 0, because it's the additive identity. Finally, the folder function will add the given state and element. First, 0 and 1 will be added, so the new state is 1. Then, 1 and 2 are added, which gives 3. And so on. The final state is 15, which is indeed the sum of our integers. Here's the function signature of list.fold. It might look a little daunting, but don't worry, we will break it down. The first argument is the folder function. It takes the current state and an element and returns the next state. The second argument is the initial state. And the third argument is the input list. The output of list.fold is the final state. Note that we have two type parameters here. There is state, which, you guessed it, is the type of the state. And then there is t, which is the type of the elements in the input list. They are different, so the output is not required to have the same type as the list elements. Let's write some code examples using list.fold. In the first example, we will calculate the product of some integers. We use list.fold, and first up is the folder function. It takes a state and an element, and in this case we want to multiply them. For the initial state, we will use 1, because it's the multiplicative identity, and I want to take the product of 2, 3, and 5. If we run the code, we get the value 30. We can also use list.fold to concatenate the strings in a list. The folder function will once again take the state and an element. In this case they are strings and we want to concatenate them. The initial state will be the empty string and I want to concatenate a, b, c. In this example, List.fold returns a single string with value abc. In the last example, we will reverse a list using list.fold. This time, the state will be a list, and we want to take the current element and add it to the front of the list. We will start from the empty list, and the list I want to reverse is 1, 2, 3, 4. As you can see, the order of the elements is now reversed. Thank you for watching. Consider leaving a like and subscribing if this video helped you out.